Okay, guys. Hey, how is everyone doing out there? Oh my god. I think it's getting intense. I can't I can't really tell. I mean, it isn't actually really getting intense in my life. Um, but what does seem to have happened is like I said on the last couple of videos guys is that I really feel as if I've been harped okay I feel as if I've been eclipsed it's like my memory it's not as if it's been wiped exactly it's just that I can't seem to bring it from my kind of unconscious I can't I can't bring what's in my sort of subconscious into my conscious mind so that I can relay it to you okay and uh, you know that is exactly what they want so I'm feeling like I'm being targeted yet again okay and oh so I don't even know if I'm gonna post this one guys I'm just like literally I have had it up to here as you well know and uh, back in my old uh, sort of routine, but sort of put a little bit of a spin on it. I love being surrounded by colour, but I have never really chosen to wear it very much. I'm starting to a little bit more now, but I'm afraid I've always been a witch. And so I've always just worn black, really. Now I'm feeling like very soon well then then I kind of went into an animal print witch and very soon I think I probably will go um I, at one stage it was sort of black and gold witch but I think I probably am going to go kind of full spectrum color eventually okay I sort of feel that kind of welling up inside me a little bit but um I don't know I don't know I don't I don't even really Kind of know where to start with this one um I, I will just say this which i've been saying right since the beginning of this whole goddamn massive weird situation that we found ourselves in guys that apparently i just had uh, an email come through for someone who is selling ivermectin and i haven't watched the videos but apparently you know because i've really uh, i've got to be clear to you guys I find this whole situation so ridiculous that I just can't even be bothered to follow along with it any longer. I just don't even really want to know what's going on. I'm just not in the slightest bit interested. I just am not. And, and you know, I just can't believe that anyone and that and that anyone who knows anything about anything really is taking any of it seriously at all we should all just be laughing in their faces and just saying no okay but I don't know from the get-go there was just mass uh, brain you know washing and mind control and so now it's like everyone is just kind of losing it and it's it's super super sad but anyway one of the things I you know so so apparently they are starting to um, recognize ivermectin, which apparently is an animal parasite cleanser. Okay, and I just got this email that's saying viruses are essentially parasites. Very interesting. On my last video, I was saying, I've got parasites, I've got viruses. And yes, of course, you know, they will be. I mean, anything that is, you know, even just a microorganism that is an invade in, in, invading the physical body can be seen as a parasite, you know. And it actually, it was kind of one of the last things I said to a very unfortunate situation in our, you know, uh, circle of someone who was clearly, you know, backs injured to, you know, to the point of no return uh you know one of the last things i said was you know we are made up of microorganisms okay and that is all we are okay and some of them are bad 
okay and some of them are good okay and so you know what you really want to be doing guys is you know feeding your good bacteria so that you have more warriors you know and and you know helper warriors okay to fend off the the unhelpful warriors okay and uh, you know that's that's really what i'm here for guys okay and i'm serious right you seem to think that you can just be like living in la la land and oh i'm never gonna get it oh i'm never gonna you know i'm 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 i'm, I'm you know like like humans do okay probably as well as something that we've been kind of conditioned into but like humans do they seem to think I, 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 I literally I can't understand why but they seem to think that they're invincible and that nothing particularly you know this is you know very very true when we're very young okay and and this is why I you know sort of say that for you know parents of young adults okay in particular they and we all know it they really feel that they're invincible okay and so they will totally overdo it they want to experience altered states of consciousness guys i remembered what i was going to say and so they will you know sort of you know they will go on binges okay unfortunately and this is something that's been echoing in my mind over the last couple of days which is just to say that you know I mean, the thing is, guys, I am just going to say what I think on here. You know, I keep going on about I don't want to offend anybody. And I, I, I really, really don't. But at the same time, I cannot curb my truths just because everyone I know is the masses. OK, and I'm sorry if you choose to do things the way that the masses do things. That's up to you. OK. And I'm not going to judge you and I'm not going to dislike you as a result, but I can't hold back. I can't not say something just because it might offend people who, you know, do the mainstream things. You know, the mainstream things are the things that everybody does. <laughs> OK. And so, you know, that's why they're mainstream. OK. And that's why when I in particular can see that they are toxic and that they are just poisonous to the human body, having studied it inside out, okay, for almost 30 years, okay, 30 minus three, right? And so, you know, it does annoy me, right? I, I back off and, you know, ultimately, ultimately, it doesn't affect my life and I don't really give two shits, okay? That's the ultimate, right? But it does sort of slightly annoy me because it has happened very close to me, okay? It's happened with people who are, you know, really very, very close to me where they will ask people who literally know nothing, and I mean zero nada zilch about health, and they're clearly not the picture of health, but they will ask them for advice, or they'll just not even ask for them, but they'll, they'll just, you know, people just, like me, <laughs> willingly give everybody advice about their health, okay? As if they know something about it. Mostly they don't, okay? But, um, you know, I've had people really, really close to me almost <laughs> take the advice, but I've managed to kind of, you know, talk them out of it. Kind of wish I hadn't, actually. I wish I would just allow people to, to do their thing, okay? and you know to make their mistakes but unfortunately i kind of get in there i just can't bear to watch people destroy their lives okay i just can't absolutely i just can't bear it but unfortunately what ends up happening when you become the savior for someone is it just ends up becoming a very slow road to nowhere <laughs> honestly and getting nowhere quick and getting there super quick right um 
So, you know, I don't know, like I said, I've said on a, another video, it literally has been the last thing that I've needed to learn or one of them. And that is just to allow people to make their own decisions, OK, and to not get involved. Right. But I sort of have. I kind of, you know, got involved in a few people's sort of situations over the years, you know, and, and you know, particularly as I'm clearing my own karma, you know, I find actually, you know, I mean, actually, a friend was saying the other day that, you know, surely doing nothing is being in a bliss state and being in a bliss state shouldn't get boring. OK, but the thing is, is that it can, it can, honestly, it can. When you're the only one who's there, OK, you're the only one who's experiencing bliss and nobody around you really wants to join in. OK, and, you know, nobody who you might like to invite in wants to join you, okay, it can get pretty boring. You know, it takes a while. I mean, I've been doing this work for 10 years. I've been in bliss states, you know, in and out, in and out, okay, of bliss states for as long as that, okay, for as long as I kind of realised that that's what we were aiming for. <clears throat> and within, you know, that process, big part of that process I did have my own dramas going on but I would say since I kind of manifested my reality I mean aside from the fact that this whole situation cost me and this is one of the things I actually didn't want to tell you guys okay and you know as I'm one of the things that was going on in my mind is how I just kind of go off on tangents I've already tried to tell you three stories and I'm coming up with another one okay a fourth one you know, which is to say that, uh, you know, kind of one of my biggest problems here now is trying to birth my app is I ain't got no extra resources, <laughs> really. I am putting as much as I can into, you know, kind of getting people here and there to kind of do a little bit of work here and there as much as I can afford it at the moment. Uh, OK, but it's because, you know, I put £20,000 into my dream what I thought was my dream at the time not so sure now okay I'm willing to give something similar another go at some stage but I needed a big reset and a big rest okay which I've had now so I have started thinking about the possibility of you know sort of inviting people on retreat again okay and or the other thing I'm thinking is just to kind of put my services out there, which I am doing um, and saying to people if, you know, they can either do it from the from the comfort of their own home and we can work remotely. OK. And or they can either come on their own or with a small group or even a big group, if that's what you want. And they sort out their own accommodation. OK, so that is an option. And my my menu of treatments, guys, is now over on Instagram. I told you I'm sort of over on Instagram these days. So why don't you follow me over there, guys? I could use the support. OK, I could use the help, you know, to help my algorithms. Um, really because you know i mean i was getting some and i am sort of slightly getting some with the hashtags and ads and you know things like that uh but every now and then they just hide me okay it's still going on with the goddamn description box you know i i'm i i'm allowed to put my just you know to put my hashtags in probably one of five uh posts you know so that's pretty goddamn boring and, you know, I mean, to me, this whole system's goddamn boring because, you know, I put 20 grand into my dream, which was shut down within nine months. <laughs> OK, and so that's pretty goddamn boring, if you ask me. Um, but anyway, oh, fucking chilies. I need to get the fire on. Um, I've got someone coming in a bit. So, um, you know, just sort of. Sorry, I've got. <laughs> bobble going on behind my back the um but anyway yeah so you know so I've put, I put all my money 
into a business which was shut down pretty damn quick and now you know my resources any kind of extraterrestrial resources <laughs> are not at this stage available to me okay so I'm just having to kind of manifest in double quick time right and I've decided that's what I'm gonna do okay um, yeah so come over it's at awakening medicine okay come over and find me over there guys and um, excuse me So, um, yeah, so gosh, I was, I was in a flow then and, uh, I've lost my train of thought really, but you know, um, one of the things that I actually did want to kind of pick up on, oh yeah, we, we, yeah, we were talking about the ivermectin, that was it. And then I wanted to go on into kind of conspiracy theories and things like that. So please pull me back guys, if I go off you know, into outer space somewhere, right? Uh, if you can, no, you can't, um, never mind. Maybe if I was live, <laughs> they, but they won't let me, they won't allow that, you know, to happen for me. Poor old little old me over here. Um, but anyway, so, you know, so this woman is, has got ivermectin, it's available, it's for sale, it's for animal use only. And, um, you know, she was saying she's got the flu. Well, pfft, can't trust her then unfortunately but she's taken ivermectin and so it has it has you know it it, it um it isn't as bad as it could be kind of thing but what she, you know the one thing that i did want to point out which is what i said right at the beginning of the masks situation okay uh you know i mean anyway i've always said everything and everybody's always had the information but they've chosen what to do with it, okay? And what she's saying is apparently people are experiencing the flu from hell, okay? And you know, it's no wonder. It's not, it's absolutely no wonder. It's because everyone's been masked up for two years, okay? And so their immune systems are damped down. Why? I hear you ask. Good question. And that is because we haven't been able to have the same amount and the same sort of on the same sort of level as we normally would of those little bad bacteria, those little bad warriors. OK, we need those little buggers. OK, we absolutely do, because they are what keep us fighting fit and healthy they're what keep our good bacteria as full blown warriors okay and so if we don't have them guess what as soon as you come in contact with some kind of very virulent bacteria okay then it's really going to attack you and you don't have the microbiome, you know, you don't have the environment in order to flush it out. The other reason, of course, then is if you've been continuousing to poison yourself, then it's going to be pretty sticky and tricky inside your body and those bad bacteria guess what guys they get stuck okay because there isn't enough oxygen and there isn't enough fluid hydration in order to wash it out and to flush it out okay so it isn't just about we've got to be around masses of bacteria we have actually got to number one keep our microbiome in good check that means plenty of fermented foods like things like sauerkraut and you know probiotic foods okay and you know i really like to add this in with probiotics is that you know again taking a probiotic pill guys it just isn't going to kick it for you okay because guess what 
you know, most of that back those bacteria are alive and they're dying pretty damn quick. The quick, you know, as, as they get kind of squashed into a capsule and that capsule gets squashed into a into a into a into a bottle and that bottle gets squashed into a pallet and that pallet gets squashed into a truck and that truck gets squashed into you know traffic and that traffic eventually it gets to get squashed up into your health food store okay maybe on the shelf it may be in the in the refrigerator but it's been bounced around it's been knocked about you only have to go like that to start killing brain cells, guys. Okay, so, you know, they haven't got anywhere close to the amount of bacteria that they are meant to have and that they originally put in there. However, when you eat raw homemade uh, sauerkraut, okay, one ounce, guys, one ounce, right, which is, you know, about quite a large handful, I would think, because it's, you know, it's a good sort of weight, has more probiotics in it than a hundred probiotic capsules, okay? So if you're just taking one or two a day, what's the point? Okay, you need to be eating probiotic foods, okay? So that's sauerkraut, and as well, I've recently kind of gotten into, you know, just kind of preserving vegetables in, in a type of brine and adding some spices, some herbs and spices, things like that. And, you know, you leave those on the, on the side, on the counter for several days, weeks, a couple of weeks, 10 days, that kind of thing. And guess what? It grows bacteria. And, you know, I mean, people might think it's gross, but I always, always, I always make enough food for myself for two days, sometimes three, uh, if I can sort of stretch it out that long, because I'm just so bored. I, if I've got someone to kind of, to serve kind of thing in my household, then I am just there, I'm just in the kitchen, I'm just doing stuff, I'm just cleaning, I want to keep the place you know, looking sort of to a certain extent well-maintained and I love preparing food for people. But if it's just me, ho-hum, I can't really be bothered, honestly. And so I will make enough food for two or three days. And then what I do is I actually just leave it out. I leave it out uncovered, guys. So guess what? it gets covered in bacteria, okay? And then I eat that bacteria, I might heat it up sometimes, I might, you know, kill off some of it to a certain extent, but still there is a certain amount of bacteria that has developed on food that isn't put in the fridge or the freezer. And so it's, you know, it's a really great way to kind of boost your microbiome kind of thing. Because we, we need to have so, so many different, um, you know, varieties of bacteria in our gut to have a really good, healthy flora, okay? And so now that we're on the subject of uh, the most boring, bloody information, a kind of overload that we've ever experienced in this lifetime which is the CV, okay, um, you know, that brings me then to kind of hearing, you know, sort of people who I, I, I enjoy watching their videos and I enjoy feeling that they've got some, uh, you know, they've got some wisdom kind of thing, now coming out kind of saying that they don't believe in conspiracies. They don't believe that, that, they're, they are conspiring against you to be millionaires and billionaires. You, you, you don't on any level think that that's a conspiracy. I'm not talking about the theories. I'm just saying you don't on any level. You think that's perfectly fine, do you? You, you think that it's fine 
for some people to have everything and other people to have nothing. Just that alone, to me, is conspiring against humanity, okay? It's saying, we're the people at the top of the pyramid and we want everything, okay? It's a conspiracy, right? Uh, yes, they do it on purpose, okay? And so, as well, what you must be saying is that you don't believe in child abuse and that you don't believe in child and human trafficking okay and if you do believe it and you do see that it's happening you think it's the poor people it's the people who have no money it's the people who have no way of getting hold of any kind of transportation it's the people who you know just kind of shove them in the back of a white van that's about 20 years old or from the 70s and kind of drive them around and just kind of drop them off at, you know, in the ghettos places, do you? Uh, how can you, and, and, and I'm really hoping that these people are not jabbed, okay? And that on some level, they were at least able to see through the fucking bullshit that, yes, <laughs> there is such a thing as a coronavirus and we have to, and we live, live with it and we've learned to live with it and we've been living with it for millennia, okay? And yes, it does kill off the weak, the old and the vulnerable, okay? That's what it does. It's like a human upgrade. It says we can't go on. With these people because they are ready to to go <laughs> okay and so it kills them off in a really lovely quick way okay so you don't believe that that's the truth you actually believe there are, that there is such a thing as a mammoth virus that is out to get you <laughs> okay well, uh, it's gaslighting, it's extreme, it's extreme, it's extreme gaslighting, okay? When you start to speak like that, there are people at the top of this chain, okay, at the top of the ladder, at the top of the goddamn pyramid, who don't want to see anyone else apart from the people in their circles, flourish, okay? They really, really don't. And they are the ones who profit off things like medicines, okay? Amongst other things, amongst other things, you know, and uh, trafficking is certainly one of them. And slavery and, you know, <laughs> you know, just, working the machine and working people's fingers to the bone for literally nothing and creating extreme inflation and all the rest of it. How can you not believe in the truth? How can you not believe? How can you not see the reality of what is going on here? Honestly, honestly, I have no idea. But anyway, I'm running out of time. Um, and I'm sure there was one more thing I wanted to say. But anyway, apparently ivermectin is out there. So if you haven't got the microbiome to, to kill off any bacteria that you might pick up along the way, then I suggest you get some, okay? But really my first and foremost suggestion is for you to do nothing. Okay, you cut out food completely. You stop eating for several days and sometimes even several weeks if you need to, okay? You do hypnosis in order to boost your relaxation because guess what? That's the number one way that our defenses go down. It's if we're not sleeping properly and it's if we're overworking, okay? Ugh. 
defeated once again. Enjoy. <laughs>